Dr. Jocelyn with Walter's World and I'm in beautiful Costa Rica and today I wanted to do a video for you about coming to Costa Rica with your kids and I highly recommend it. You really should bring your kids here. It's an amazing adventure and part of why it's an amazing adventure is because there are so many things to do. This isn't one of those trips where you're going to museum after museum. This is activity filled. Um, there are all the beach things, you know, my kids have taken surfing lessons and there's um, fishing, tons of sport fishing here. There's boat rides, sea kayaking, lake and river kayaking, all, all these water sports are just, they're, they're plentiful, let me tell you. Um, then there are the things like the tours and hikes through beautiful national forests like Manuel Antonio. There are hanging bridge tours, which we really enjoyed. We took a cooking class with a local family near the um, Arenal Volcano, and then we ate with them, which was a great experience for both us and for our kids. The family time in Costa Rica has been just exquisite. I mean, the, the things we've done and the memories we've made on this trip are going to definitely last a lifetime. There are tons of animals to see and as you take these tours you may go on a night tour and try to see the um, poisonous tree frogs and different kinds of snakes and things. Um, there are macaws and sloths and coatis which are related to raccoons and very cool. There's just, there, there's plentiful wildlife and if you're very quiet on your tours, you might just get to see some. We saw spider monkeys, there are howler monkeys, white faced squirrel monkeys. There's just a ton to see. And that kind of leads into the idea of ecotourism. Um, Costa Rica is very eco-friendly. Um, in 2015, all of their electricity was naturally generated um, by hydropower, wind power, um, and geothermal and solar power. So this country's really got it together on ecotourism and your kids are gonna learn so much. When we went on our tour through the rainforest and the hanging bridges, we, our guide was amazing and we learned so much about not only just this rainforest, but rainforests in general and about specific plants and wildlife. And it was a great lesson in science for both us and our kids. So I highly recommend taking a couple of those tours if you're in Costa Rica. Some things you should know about bringing your kids to Costa Rica. First and foremost, the sun is hot and it's intense here. You're near the equator, so you need to get sunblock. Our luggage got lost and I had to buy sunblock. And for a regular size can of SPF 50, it was 17 US dollars. Um, that's like three times what you pay in the US. So I would suggest bringing that with you maybe. And also the same goes for bug repellent. Um, tons of bugs in the rainforest, like tons of bugs in the rainforest. So it's not a bad idea to put something on to kind of keep some of the critters away. On that, I also bring Benadryl. Our youngest um, has really bad reactions to, to bug bites. So I always take a little bit of children's Benadryl and some afterbite, you know, the little pens, you can just kind of put it on and take the itch out. So um, nobody's complaining throughout the rest of a tour going, I'm itchy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good smart thing to do with your kids. So a couple other things that you might want to bring with you to Costa Rica, especially if you're in the interior, you're going to want a poncho. As the locals will tell you, they have a rainy season and a not so rainy season. They never call it the dry season because in the interior, especially in the rainforest, um, it rains every day. It's a rainforest. So a poncho might not be a bad idea, although really it rains for like 10 minutes and then it's done raining for a couple of hours. So you have a little time to dry out. Um, the other thing that you definitely need wherever you are is a good sturdy pair of shoes because all the tours are going to be up and down. This is a mountainous country. There's a lot of dirt and rocks. You need good grippy shoes, especially if you're doing like a hanging bridge tour. Um, we went on the longest hanging bridge there was and there was a torrential downpour and I was really grateful that we all had good sturdy grippy bottom shoes um, so we weren't slipping and sliding on, on the hanging bridges because it was frightening enough. Um, so you might want to think about bringing those couple extra things with you too. Some safety things you need to know. Um, first and foremost, in any country you visit, you need to know the emergency number. For Costa Rica, it's 911, which makes it really easy for Americans to remember since it's the same thing. Um, car safety, we've found that in every vehicle that we've been in, um, there are only lap belts in the back. So some, some car seats don't work with that, so you should just be aware of that, that that's 
seems to be pretty much the only thing that you have to strap kids in with. And that's sort of just what we've done. We do have booster seats that are travel um, seats, but they don't really help if, if it's just a lap belt. So we've just left them out and strapped the kids in with a lap belt. So be aware of that. Um, if you have picky eaters, most of the restaurants, especially on the resorts, um, they all have children's menus and they're either fish nuggets, chicken nuggets, spaghetti, you know, really simple foods that pretty much all kids will eat. Some of the local restaurants, which you should really take your kids to because they're fantastic, they're called sodas. Um, even they had like smaller portions and things. Most of it's rice and beans or, um, you know, a meat or fish mixed in with those things. But, you know, rice and beans are, are things that my kids will eat. I don't know about everybody else's, but our kids really enjoyed the local food. But if they are picky eaters, know that most places have a children's menu that's nice and easy. Most of the portions are so big that it's really easy to split a meal with your kid. Um, Caleb and I did it quite a few times and Mark and Liam split men, um, the menus a couple of times too. So that, was, um, that makes it really easy. Along with eating, um, you're gonna wonder about the water. Water in Costa Rica is safe to drink. We haven't had any problems with any of the water. So just know that your water is drinkable. So those are my tips for bringing your kids to Costa Rica. I really hope you do it because the memories and the experiences here are just fantastic. Check us out um, on Walter's World, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the social media will be there waiting for you. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks, bye from Costa Rica.